ladies and gentlemen, this is the Andrew Lewis Trio, but no, look, listen to me first. They will play for about half an hour, maybe a little longer, and after that there will be a short Q&A, and they will only respond to questions about their musical journeys, no philosophical or any other kind of questions. Uh, and now, welcome the Andrew Lewis Trio. <laughs> Leonard, we're not doing the Elton John songs tonight. Take it off. <laughs> Consider yourselves lucky. We were thinking of throwing in a Lady Gaga number. You do not want to see. You ready to have some fun out there? Are you ready to have some fun out there? Yeah. Leonard, are you ready? I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Cool. <laughs> Let's play some jazz. Thank you very much and good evening. I'm Andrew Lewis, in case you didn't know. Uh, I'd like to introduce the members of the trio to you. Uh, on my left, on bass, Nick Shard. And to my right, a gentleman I think you might recognize, a man I have the honor to call my very best friend, Leonard Pigoff. We do have a special guest who will be joining us in a little while. Uh, now, there is a bar outside. I am instructed to tell you that there is a bar outside. Did I, have I told you that there's a bar, bar outside? Uh, jazz should be enjoyed with spirit. And I guarantee you there's one or two of us up here who are really going to be needing one at the end of the night. Uh, so we're going to be playing some old standards from the 20s, 30s and 40s for you this evening. That first song was a song called Crazy Rhythm. 1928, I believe. Uh, next up is a Duke Ellington song from 1940. It's called, and it features Nick on bass. It's called Don't Get Around Much Anymore.
Thank you very much. Nick Shad. Now, in case you don't know, musicians can lead rather unpredictable and hectic lives. Uh, we were lucky enough to find Nick uh, several months ago and he agreed to come and join us tonight. About a week ago, though, he got a message that he was going to have to be back in Los Angeles tomorrow morning by 6 a.m. for a recording on Good Morning America. And he was going to have to drive all night. Fortunately for Nick's health, he doesn't have to. The gig was cancelled. So that's what it's like as a working musician. <sighs> now, the next song I believe is best known for the Louis Armstrong version, uh, in which he sang about the seductive wiles and evils of women. Uh, when he sang it, it was called, My Mama Done Told Me. Um, since, unfortunately, Satchmo couldn't be with us here tonight, we'll play it in its instrumental version, of course, and it's known as Blues in the Night.
Thank you. Yeah, now, you should know that this trio is very much an experiment, especially for Leonard and myself. Um, so I do hope you will stay for the Q&A and uh, ask each of us about our musical backgrounds and journeys. Could be quite interesting. Um, now, musical questions only, of course. So we don't want to be dis... Well, also, also for technical advisors on how to turn pages. <laughs> um, now, uh, the next song goes all the way back to 1925, but the version I think you're all probably familiar with uh, was recorded in 1950 by Brother Bones and His Shadows. It's a song for all the basketball fans out there. sweet just like the lovely Miss Georgia Brown herself. I would like to now invite our very special guest to join us. Would you please make welcome Ms. Deneen Dyson. Uh, Deneen's going to sing two songs for us tonight. The first is a great song by Cole Porter. It's called Let's Do It. See, well, somebody knows what it is. <laughs> if any of you don't know what it is, ask your parents. <laughs> Fall in love Electric e 
to bring me Shadrow in shallow shows English souls to win Go fish in the privacy of bones to win Let's do it, let's fall in love, love. Let's fall in love Are we having fun yet? The next song was written for a movie that I doubt any of you have ever seen back in 1941 and it was first performed by the Glenn Miller Orchestra. It is, however, extremely well known from the wonderful version sung by the very marvellous Etta James in 1960. And as Deneen says, I'll let the title speak for, its, speak for itself.
thrill that I lucky no if you're all very virtuous she may come back and sing another one later on would you like that <laughs> that could be good though uh, next song we have for you a song made famous by Duke Ellington although it was actually written by somebody else a fellow named Juan Tizol uh, the arrangement we're playing tonight was inspired by a recording I heard of a uh, trio of Duke Ellington, Charles Mingus on bass, and the mighty Max Roach on drums. Um, we're not them, okay? <laughs> but we shall do our best. Uh, most people call this song Caravan. I call it Playtime.
better. Better out than in, I say. Thank you. Um, we couldn't do a, a performance of songs from this era uh, without playing something by the very wonderful George Gershwin. Uh, so the next song we have for you tonight, I'm right, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yes, next song we have for you tonight is uh, Gershwin's Fascinating Rhythm. So we have reached the point of our very last standard of the evening, uh, another Duke Ellington song. Uh, we didn't actually turn it, uh, plan it to be a Duke Ellington tribute, but there's nothing wrong with that, is there? Um, this is a song of his from 1942. It's uh, called Sea Jam Blues.
So have you all been very good? Would you like another one? In that case, uh, to finish our set for this evening, I'd like to invite uh, Deneen back to join us. And since we're in Vegas, I am willing to take bets that most of you have never heard this song before. I'll tell you who wrote it afterwards. It's simply called Tell Me. Thank you, Deneen. Words and lyrics by the one and only Leonard Peikoff.
Janine Dyson. Nick Shard. And Leonard Peakoff, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. And Andrew Lewis on drums, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much.